Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Trinity Resting and yes, Resting is my real surname. So as you guys can tell by the title, today we are trying out the oh so popular bentonite clay mask. Now I know I am behind on the trends, but I just went natural. So I thought maybe I should give it a try and let you guys see. So what you're going to need is of course bentonite clay. I use this one by nature's choice. Um, I'm sure you can use any one that you can find and then of course apple cider vinegar now you want to make sure that the vinegar you use is with mother and that it and that it is unfiltered next thing i'm using is just a measuring cup and a plastic spoon make sure you are not using metal because it can have negative effects on the clay so then you're just going to want to estimate how much clay you need for your hair of course my hair is short so i didn't need that much um i still could have done with a bit more but anyway just estimate to your liking and then add in the apple cider vinegar i added this in gradually because i didn't want to add too much so yeah you'll see me stir it up and then add some more and then stir it up again but yeah So once you feel like you have the perfect mask consistency, I just went ahead and added in some Costa oil just to give the mask a bit more moisture and just so that it's not so drying. So I just added in a bit of that and then stirred it up until it was nice and smooth. So when you begin this process, you want to make sure that your hair is almost drenched in water. Mine was kind of damp, but I did have a spray bottle alongside with me. So if I felt that my hair was getting a bit too dry, I would just spray it. But basically, I didn't really have any order when putting this mask in. I just put it in randomly, but I would suggest doing this in sections because I definitely regretted it later. So the method I was using here was kind of just putting in the mask and then raking it through my hair just to make sure that every strand of hair was coated in the clay to ensure ultimate definition. This is also what I saw other YouTubers doing when they did this mask. So that's the method I'm kind of going with. It worked pretty well in the end. So yeah, I would suggest doing that. Now you see me spraying more water in here and there because my hair was drying pretty quickly. So yeah, I would suggest having water on the side just in case. And then yeah, that's what I did all through my head. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. So while I'm doing this, I thought I should just pop in and mention some of the benefits that bentonite clay has on your hair. It is good to reduce frizz, it conditions, softens your hair, and it is also a detoxifier. So if you struggle with product buildup, this is very good for drawing out all of those toxins out of your scalp. Even though you may not think you suffer from product buildup, a lot of us do. So this is a very good mask to do at least once a month just to detoxify your scalp and make sure your scalp is healthy and it is a good foreground for good growth.
So now that I have coated my entire head in this bentonite clay mask, I'm just going to put on a plastic cap and leave it on to sit there for about an hour. And then I'm going to come back to you guys and show you what it looks like and then we can continue with the washing process. Okay, so I'm back. It's been about an hour and a half. Um, guys i really want to apologize for my bathroom i tried to film me washing out this mask but my bathroom was so misty i tried to fix it and i couldn't fix it so i really want to apologize for that um i'll do better next time i promise but anyway this is what my hair was looking like after having the mask in for an hour it was looking good so then i just rinsed it out now you want to make sure you rinse this out thoroughly like you want to make sure that the water runs clear because if this mask stays in your hair it's not going to be a pleasant experience so just make sure you rinse it out really well and then this is what my hair ended up looking like and to be honest i'm impressed like usually my hair is just frizz like just absolutely no definition and just pure frizz but as you can see here I'm kind of shook because I've got some curls popping. I'm getting excited. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this mask. And that brings us to the end of this week's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.